Hello, this is Gundam UK and this is a workbench update. Okay, first of all, I have a brand new website at GundamUK.com. Um, it's far, far better than the old uh, WordPress website. Um, the gallery feature is just worth it in itself. Um, you can go and take a look at GundamUK.com. There's a few extra pages there as well. And also, I've just opened up a new store. Uh, but there'll be more on that a bit later. Secondly, uh, I am writing a book. Uh, this is something that I've been working on for the past four years, something like that. Um, I just wanted to kind of keep a, a log of um, what I'm learning as I go along so I can look back at it just for reference sake. And uh, I realised that um, I'd written quite a few pages and it might actually make quite a good book. So the next thing to do is just to uh, kind of go through everything I've written, organise it and uh, put it into a layout which I have started doing. Uh, and um, I've given it a title, and the title is the Mecha Modelers Primer. And the aim is uh, just to have a book that's just mostly for beginners and intermediate modelers, uh, something like a, a set of foundational basic skills uh, in which you can uh, have a nice platform to make your own style in Mecha modeling. Uh, it's not like a complete how to book, it's just more or less how I do things type of book. And uh, hopefully it will be helpful. And I mean, it's uh, it's running into probably nearly a hundred pages, so it's it's going to be quite comprehensive. Um, so yeah, um, there'll be more news on that in the future. Circling back to the website and what I said earlier um, with regards to the store, um, I'm actually selling a couple of my painted kits because the uh, the old display cabinet is getting a little bit full, and uh, I don't really want to put those kits like back into storage. Uh, I much prefer it if it, if it was uh, on somebody's display and if um, somebody enjoyed uh, having a look at it and it not be in a box gathering dust. Um, so if you're interested in that you can head over to GundamUK.com and uh, see which kits are for sale. And um, keep an eye out for this section of the website because there's going to be all kinds of things there. Uh, I'm looking to sell some modelling support good stuff or modelling support good style stuff. Um, that I'm managing to get hold of uh, through other suppliers and uh, it will mean that um, we're able to get hold of uh, some good detailing and uh, extra parts for mecha modeling here in the UK so whenever I have new products added I will let everybody know on social media so do follow me on my Facebook page and on my Twitter and on my Instagram um, I'll be posting there whenever I have something new even though it's been a while since I've done a video, I have been uh, building a Zaku 2 at the moment and uh, I have started painting, well, I've finished painting the base for the Perfect Grade Exia. Uh, let me just get you the Zaku. You can see part of the Zaku here that I'm working on. Uh, as you can see, it's just standard out of box colours. Um, it's got a nice shiny surface to it at the minute, uh, which is going to be ruined by a matte coat. <laughs> um, it's literally just something I wanted to do completely out of the box, a uh, straightforward paint and build, a little bit of detailing, that's it, a little bit of plow plating here and there, uh, and that's it really. Um, but I'll be showing that once it's finished um, here on YouTube and on my social media. I only really have uh, one new thing to show off uh, this month, and that is one of these Harrow Basic Green model kits. I just think it's adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, give this one something special. Maybe that'll be my next project, who knows? So that's it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, do check out the Gundam UK website. Uh, let me know below what you think. The next video will probably be a work in progress because I'm itching to start on a, on a new big project. Uh, I'm still, of course, working on the Perfect Great Exia. Um, I haven't got very far. All I've got done is the assembly part. Um, yeah, this is kind of like as I mentioned before, like an ongoing project that's going to take some time. So, so I'll catch you later. Bye bye.